Just wanted to share a few confusing things for me as I sorted out how to set the timing on my 1970 MG Midget 1275 engine. Um, the first thing I did was find top dead center um, based on the first piston um, and having the gauge set on the first piston. Once that's done, you then switch to the first inlet valve and you set the dial gauge to that. And what you want to do is come to the crank in the back and turn counterclockwise until this rod reaches the maximum height, set it to zero, pull it back five degrees from the direction you came, and then make a reading on the front. Then you come to the back again, and instead of going counterclockwise, you go clockwise. You want to find the maximum height which will be the zero that you set it at, probably. Back it off five degrees from the direction you came, and then make your second reading. Then what you do is you take these two readings, add them together, divide by two, and find out how far off from 107 you are. And in my case, it was three degrees, and that's the offset key. So uh, the other thing to realize is as this push rod goes up, your gauge spins to the right, and as your push rod goes down, it spins to the left. So that will help you visualize as you turn your crank. And hopefully that will be enough to help you get started. If I got that wrong, let me know.